Hey everyone, in this video let's see how we can use stored procedure in SQL Server to load the data into Power BI. So what I'm going to do is simply create two parameters in Power Query which I will use as a start date and end date parameter inside my stored procedure and then that stored procedure will simply fetch the data from SQL Server and the data set will simply contain a date column and a sales amount column. So let's go to the SQL Server. And in this SQL Server, I have a database which is Contoso Retail Data Warehouse in which I have multiple views such as data modeling.sales and data modeling.date. And these are the two views I'm going to use to create my own stored procedure. So let's start writing the code and I'm going to write use Contoso Retail Data Warehouse that will simply set that database as the active database. And let's write the code for creating the procedure. So I can write create procedure USP dates with sales and let's open and close a bracket and then create two parameters so i'm going to write start date and the data type will be of date and the end date parameter and again the data type will be of date and let's write some important keywords such as begin and end and what i'm going to do is simply write select star from data modeling dot date view as d and then i'm going to use the the sales view and join using the left join operation so i can write left join data modeling dot sales as s and let's write on d dot date equal to s dot or date oh let me just write the alias first as s dot or date and then i can introduce the where clause where i'm going to write d dot order date d dot date should be greater than or equal to the start date parameter and d dot date should be less than or equal to the end date parameter then i'm going to select some columns so i can use my d dot date column and i can assign a variable or the name of the column so i can write sales amount is equal to some s dot quantity times s dot net price and let's also use the rounding function so that I'm only limiting the result with two decimal numbers. So let's write round and two. And in the last step, I can simply group the data by the d.date variable, sorry, d.date column. And I can write d.date. And I can also order my data set so that when I import that into Power Query, it is ordered into the ascend, in an ascending, ascending way. So I can write order by d.date ascending and that will be all that we need to write for creating the stored procedure so let's select this code and click on f5 and that will create the stored procedure inside programmability folder and let's click on refresh and inside stored procedure you can see that we now have our stored procedure and let's create a new new query so that we can test if that is working or not so if i write execute usp dates with sales then I can pass my start date parameter, the value as 2008 So I want everything between 2008, the 1st of January of 2008 and between start end date of 2008-01-10. So I want, sim I simply want 10 days and let's click let's correct the var the spelling of the start date parameter and if i click on f5 let's wait for it to execute anytime now so you can see that i have received a table comprising of two columns and 10 rows in the first row in the first column i have the dates and in the second column i have my sales amount and now i can use this statement to import the data inside power bi so let's copy this and let's go to the power bi file and i'm going to choose the option of SQL Server and in the server name I'm going to write summer Antriksh and the data na database name is Contoso Retail Data Warehouse and I'm going to use the import option because at the time of recording the direct query option doesn't support the doesn't support loading data with help of the stored procedure so I can only use the import option otherwise the direct query option throws an error when I try to import that data so everything looks good let's click on ok and let's click on transform data so that we can create our parameter and let's go to the power query so 
so let's view the settings pane and I'm going to change the data type to be of date and it didn't work so date let me just see what is happening so it should be date and that sales amount looks fine so what we can do now is create two parameters one of them will be of start date and another one will be of end date so let's start creating our parameters and before that i can name this query so i can name it as dates with sales amount and let's go to the home tab and i'm going to click on the manage parameter option and here let's click on new option and i'm going to write first of all let's create the start date parameter start date param and in the type i'm going to choose the option of date and the current value will be of 2008-0101 and let's create another parameter which will be end date so let's write end date param and let's check the data type as date and the end date will be of 2008-01 and 10 and let's click on ok so you can see that we have created two parameters and I'm, and then we are going to use them inside our custom M code. So let's click on this query and let's go to advanced editor. So the first thing that I'm going to do is simply create two variables. The first one will be start date is equal to and end date is equal to. So I'm just simply creating placeholders and I'm going to write here start date param and here I'm going to write start the end date param and let's write comma after the start date param let's push the query part of the source to the next line so that we can break this code and in and introduce our start date and end date variables so what i need to do is simply replace the 1st of january 2008 and the 10th of january 2008 with start date and the end date variable respectively and we also need to make sure that we are keeping the inverted commas or the punctuation marks in the string because otherwise the when that code is executed against the SQL server that code will not be considered correct and let's see how we can do that so first of all I'm going to introduce a double quote here so that I break that string and I'm going to concatenate by using the ampersand operator and instead of the 1st of January I'm going to write start date and I'm going to introduce another ampersand and another quote so that we are again back with the string so as of now I have not broken anything I have my start date I have my inverted commas I have my inverted comma here as well and now let's put a double quote here and write ampersand and instead of this I'm going to write end date variable and let's introduce ampersand and another double quote so as a beginner i would think that this code is going to work so let's click on done and it is not going to work because the start date parameter and the end date parameter are actually of date data type and since i am trying to concatenate those variables inside a string those cannot be performed th this operation cannot be performed by power query so what we need to do is simply write we simply simply need to convert that date into text so i can write text dot from and wrap both my parameters so let's write again text dot from and i'm hoping that it will work now so let's click on ok and let's click on edit permission and let's click run and let's wait for it to execute against the sql server and there you see that we have received the data so let's try to check that if it is working or not so i'm going to change the value of parameter to be 20 and let's go back let's click on edit permission and let's run the code once again and let's wait for it to execute so anytime now and you can see that from 1 1 2018 2008 till 1 20 2008 we are getting the dates as well as the sales amount so that was how you can actually use stored procedure and parameters to load the data from sql server into power query and let's just click on close and apply to see that 
if the data is actually getting loaded or not so let's wait for it to load and there you go the data has been loaded and if i click on the table you can see i have my 20 rows with date column and the sales amount so that was all for this video and if you if you have any questions for me just let me know in the comment section and i will see you the next time until then have a great day